In 2014, Evans fell from a height and injured his spine while at work. And after many failed attempts to get compensated by the company he worked for, he turned to the National Labor Commission as his last resort. He has had to travel for many hours to the commission for the past four years to get his concerns addressed. He tells me the journey worsens the already excruciating pain in his spine from the injury. From Wonchi to Kumasi is three hours and from Kumasi to Accra five hours. So when you add it, you have eight hours. He not only has to deal with the pains, he sometimes does not even have enough to foot his trip to and fro. The commission, they have done a lot. Sometimes when I come, I've run out of money. They use their own money to issue, to gift as a transportation fare. And as I'm speaking now, the money is very, very problem for me because since 2014, Due to the accident and the spinal stabilization, I'm not able to work. With all the efforts the commission is making to address cases like Evans's, it is still bedeviled with a myriad of challenges. We receive between 80 to 120 cases in a month and decide on all labor disputes. It's only situated in Accra. A few minutes ago, some Zanzin mining against Ghana Mine Workers Union. They have to travel from Bulga to Accra. If we had a regional office in Bulga or Tamale, they could be hearing the case. I mean, the committee of the commission will hear the case as I mean, allowed by law. But it's like now everybody has to travel because of cost. We have our own face in the Western region. Until recently, it was just a shadow of an office because when I assumed office last year, there was only one person there, Madam Veronica Kumsi, supposed to do all the cases that would come from Western and Central region. So I had to apply for national service personnel to be posted there, four of them, and I have sent three people from this office to join her. There isn't any very the problems don't end here. The understaffed commission does not have the funds it needs to operate. We had our first quarter release. We have the second quarter has come. Third quarter, no release. We are in our fourth quarter. It's almost ending. As I talked to you now, we have just about uh, 15,000 cities for fuel, to fuel our vehicles. And for electricity, we just bought 3,500, which was left just, uh, was it... Uh, three days or four days ago, and our money for it is finished. So that if no releases are made between now that I'm talking to you and in the next few days, and the lights go off, we are unprepared. It's not a postpaid, we are unprepared. So as soon as the credits get finished, it will go off, and we can't do anything about it. Before I came here, they say it used to happen. Sometimes they could do with that light for one week, two weeks. And as soon as lights go off, the commission cannot hear any case. Our facilitators who facilitate negotiation and the mediators and arbitrators who use this place in certain cases cannot work. And I cannot sit in this office as well. The room is designed in such a way that it is not louvers. You have to use an air condition, you have seen it. And it is not me alone. Everything will grind to a halt. And can you imagine, as I talk to you now, we have notice of strike from the KNUST UTAC. They're going to go on strike on the 19th if nothing is done to resolve the decision. We have notice from CETA, College of Education, and they keep coming. Even when we are working full time and every day, we have problems. Let alone, I mean, going off. So I, 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 we, we are ready. The National Labor Commission currently has just two officers addressing the many cases across the country. Both officers are understaffed and under-resourced. Maybe it's time government adopts the one district, one labor office project to address the situation. Reporting for City News, my name is Michael Obudu.